Hi guys! I'm Jinga Crochet and in today's video I will be taking you along with me to my outdoor market and kind of showing you around the market and then also like how I use uh, my square and like organize my items and everything in there and I'll let you know like what my best sellers are and everything so yeah if you'd like to see like some more in-depth videos of like the items and stuff that I make you can check out my last two uh, market videos that I made where I kind of go more into detail on the items that I make and also the my like setup and stuff uh, So you could check those videos out if you want to if you're like more interested about like that stuff uh, And also you'll see like some more market footage from those as well So for this market I wasn't really able to make as many items as my previous markets because I started school this week so uh didn't really have time. I'm a full-time student and doing this like part-time, so it, it does take a while, but I was actually still pretty impressed with how well I did at this market, so I guess that's that's a plus. I don't know. The market before the setup. <laughs> This is what it looks like when I use the trolley thing because at the last market I was inside. Hey girl! This is Tina made with April. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so this is what it looks like when I use that thing. Um, I stack two of my, my bins on them. I just put that on top and then there's this gap here where I put my like stool thing, uh, an umbrella, my table, and then I use this like I don't even know what this thing's called, but it's like this thing um, and wrap it around so that it uh, stays here because otherwise when I'm moving it, it literally stuff will like fall off like it slides and goes everywhere and here I have all the frogs and every all the small keychains items and stuff like that. I made so many frogs this time like I'm like literally repopulating a swamp. Um, this is all my crochet stuff. I finally brought it this time, which is good. And yeah, time to go set up. I'm like over there. I don't know. <laughs> You'll see. Okay, this is where I'll be. It's like right in front of this like garage thing. My last market was inside of this building. No, not this building. Sorry. This. Wait, was it this building? No. Yeah. No, I don't know. Actually, I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, no, it's this building. It was inside of this building, but this confuses me. But no, it was like somewhere over there. I don't know. Okay, so because this is an outdoor market, I wanted to show you like the table cloth flying issue and how well these things work. So this is before putting them on. And sometimes this will literally like flip over onto my table, which is really annoying. Um, but So this is after putting the things like on the corners. And it kind of helps. I mean, my it's still pretty windy, so still okay. It's still kind of going crazy, but <laughs> I can't believe it doesn't help as much as I thought it did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I have seen clamps where you put them like that on tables. I just thought they didn't look as cute, but maybe I actually need them. <laughs> Can I tell you guys that I made frogs. I wasn't joking. There's a bunch of frogs here, and like. This is all the ones that I'm going to fit up here, and then these are the extras, I guess. And then, like, you know, I still have my froggy keychains. But, yeah, that's a lot of frogs. Also, this is the fit. I made this crochet cardigan. You can uh, check out my video on all the crochet clothing that I made. Yeah. Okay, so here is my table all set up. It's quite windy. Um, I had to do some modifications, so I put this sign up here. Normally I'll have it down right here, but it, it kept falling over and falling down. So I have it up here and I have it taped to this thing. I might have to tape this to here as well. I also got this clipboard. At the at Dollarama, um, but yeah, see, I, I definitely have to tape that down. Uh, 
as you can see, I don't have very many of these guys. Uh, I did bring some yarn to make some more ducks and stuff. I'm actually out of white yarn, so I can't make any mushrooms, which is unfortunate because I, I think they'd actually possibly do well today, but that's okay. Um, I might make uh, one brown hat, and I think that's mostly what I'm gonna make. I don't know. It's always like, we'll, we'll kind of see as the market goes on. Um, but yeah, I have these two bins are here to prevent my table from blowing over. I moved over these to the front and that's actually helped so far. This isn't like going up as much, so hopefully that does well. Um, I, oh, I also added another string around this guy. So he's tied twice to this umbrella. There's this like yellow string and then this other string to hopefully prevent the duck from falling and so far it looks good because otherwise he kept tipping and it, it was crazy uh, but yeah it's currently 12 49 p.m. on Saturday and the market starts at 1 so we have about 10 more minutes and yeah I do want to get a new sign this is like a pathetic sign but I don't know I'm like hoping maybe that'll be a Christmas gift or something yeah So I thought I would show you like the yarn that I brought with me or like the supplies that I bought brought that so these are all my safety eyes <laughs> um, that's a big bag of just a bunch of safety eyes I brought some yellow yarn for the like duck beaks and feet uh, some brown yarn to make a hat this is also to make a hat or ducks um, this is all the yarn that I use to make sunny angel clothing. There's a bunch in there. That's my water bottle. This is just some more safety eyes. Uh, that's an extra bag. This is some green yarn to make like froggy, either the, the leggy frogs, cause the like green color is like one of the most popular sometimes, or to make the leggy frog or froggy keychains. Um, these are some grapes. That's my snack. <laughs> oh, okay. I also have uh, this is my like tool kit thing, which I'll show you. I'll open it up. So you, you can get these on Amazon, I think, but it has two pockets. I put the crochet hooks that I mostly use in the front here. This is a measuring tape if I'm making clothes. I have a pen here. These are my yarn needles. These are my most favorite yarn needles. Uh, I'll link them down below for which ones I use. So I also have uh, my scissors, uh, a highlighter, which I usually use to make my price tags. I have an extra price tag in here as well. Um, these are all of my safety pins, some more yarn needles. And then if I look at the other side, the other side of my kit just has all like a bunch of other crochet hooks that I may not use as much or extra sizes and stuff. I have this like little notebook just in case, but I don't really use it very often. Uh, like a pen thing, I don't know, random sticky notes and stuff and yeah. <laughs> but that's what I bring with me. It's pretty useful. I like it a lot. I also got these little like cellophane bags for the Sunny Angel clothes. So what I'm gonna do is like put a card in there and then if they buy any clothes I can put them in here with it. Just like prepped these ones so this is like what it looks like with the my card in it this market's like a campfire theme market so there's like these little campfires here uh this is Vuyen this is Trisha she's the creator of cuties club hi <laughs> oh uh, that's where I am this is lavish the label and you can hear lots of sirens because we're downtown. But we'll just do a little walk through. Check out some of the other vendors. This is Bratz Beads. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> The 
This is Tina, made with April. She's over there. <laughs> So it's like 20 minutes to the market and I already sold the one mushroom that I had. Um, I started making like another one of these little ducks uh, just in like this like muddled white yarn. But I think after that, I think I'm gonna try to make, I didn't bring red yarn. Uh, I'm gonna try and make like a brown mushroom with this yarn, like brown mushroom dude with this yarn and see if that one will sell, I don't know. Uh, I really really should have bought white yarn but I kind of lost track of time so oh well the whole time I felt like I was forgetting something and I literally just realized what I was forgetting so I brought all my yarn all my safety eyes and tools and stuff but I forgot my polyfill <laughs> uh, so I realized after I was like almost finished this because I would stuff about right now and I can't because I forgot my polyfill. Ah! So I've never had this issue before, but there's two bees that keep annoying me and it's freaking out. I'm, I'm freaking out. boyfriend came by and his friends came by and they got me food and a drink which was really nice also this is like it's like a purple powerade and it matches my sweater <laughs> showed you that I made one brown hat I sold that one already these are the only two I have left I also made um, a green sunny angel dress this like orange and black one and this purple and black one which I feel like are kind of like Halloween colors and then I made <laughs> I totally forgot to show you but I made another dress like this two other dresses that were exactly like this except one was pink and the other one was like this icy blue as instead of the green and those ones I sold already <laughs> they bought my hats look at them they're so cute <laughs> These are the fire pits because it's like a campfire themed one. Um, I don't know. Oh, I think there's supposed to be like some movie thing going on afterwards. So I think that's why there's all these chairs set up in like a line. I think they're going to project a movie onto this like building. But yeah. So it's almost time to take everything down. Oh god, my makeup is running. Anyway. Oh my god, it's really bad. <laughs> It's currently 6.57, the market ends at 7, so it's just about over. And I have, I sold like a strawberry and everything. I'll go over everything. I'm completely out of stock of my bees, of my mushrooms, of my ducks, whatever. I have like the one half made one in here that I can't finish. Oh well, it'll be for the next market. Okay, so here's the breakdown of everything that I sold. I made 50 sales in total. Uh, some people bought multiple things, so I sold 72 items in total. Uh, of that were 28 plushies. Half of those plushies were leggy froggies, so I sold 14 leggy froggies. The other 14 were like other random plushies. Um, then I sold 15 accessories. Of those accessories were five bear hats, one scrunchie, one cat hat, and then eight keychains. And of those keychains uh, were four bunny keychains, three froggy keychains, and one bear keychain. And then I sold 29 sunny angel clothing items. So I won't break those down because they were kind of random and I'm assuming most people probably don't care. But yeah, those are all the items that I sold. Uh, again. Probably not going to share total amount, but I guess if you were to look at my prices throughout the video, you could probably figure out. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's all the items that I sold. It was pretty good. Pretty good.
Also, this is how I organize uh, my items in square. So I just have three categories, uh, one for plushies where I just have all my plushies, one for accessories where I kind of have like keychains, cat hats, bear hats, th things like that. And then my third category, which are sunny angel clothing. And that's what it looks like. Hi. Okay, it's the end of the market. <laughs> well, it's actually like several hours later. I'm with my friend here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'll give some context of this market because I, I literally always forget to say anything about it. But um, it was the cuties market it was at the historic fire hall which is where my first market vlog was but i didn't really show too much in that first one of like the location so much but it's behind the bow tower in calgary <laughs> i should mention that i feel like i'm talking about buildings and you're like what okay but um yeah that's where it is it's an outdoor market it's kind of like a wind tunnel in a way not exactly but it's like a lot of wind goes through that area, hence why it was so windy. And that is uh, quite common, I guess. Like, it's usually fairly windy there, but sometimes... I feel like today was kind of worse than some other days for wind, at least. And uh, I mentioned very briefly that there was two bees that kept, like, buzzing around my table. And I've never had that happen there. I've had, I've done like over 10 markets in that exact location. And for whatever reason, today there was just these two bees that kept buzzing around my stuff. And I guess I would, like, I would see them go around to like other people's tables every so often. And then they would come back to my table. And it was so annoying. <laughs> and I'm, I really don't like bugs or anything flying around me. Oh, it was freaky. And they would land on my, like, yarn bag, and they would try to crawl in, and that would freak me out, because I was like, oh god, please don't, like, stay in there, and then I'm gonna reach in, and ugh, no, no thank you. Um, but luckily they didn't, like, stay there. Uh, they were out there mostly when the sun was out, and then when the sun, like, went behind the bow tower, which was, like, after, like, close, closer to 5 p.m., um, they kind of just, like, buzzed off, <laughs> uh, but then randomly near the end of the market, so let's say that was, like, about 5 p.m. when they, like, ran away, uh, about at, like, close, very close to 7 p.m., they just came back. Why? <laughs> they were gone for, like, two hours, and then they came back, and it was for, like, a brief, like, few minutes. And they came back to my table, and then they just left. And I, I don't know why, but I, I that wasn't fun. <laughs> um, but any, anyway, the the market was the Cuties Market. Uh, yeah, follow CutiesClub.ca on Instagram if you're ever interested. If you're in the Calgary area, or if you come to Calgary, I don't know if you would ever travel here, but some people do for the Stampede. Uh, <laughs> Check them out. We I feel like it's like the cutest market in like I want to say North America, but I don't know <laughs> if that's true. But definitely the cutest market in Canada. Definitely in Alberta. I don't really know what goes on in the states, so I don't I don't know. <laughs> um, but it it's very fun. Uh, this one was a little bit smaller in terms of how many vendors there was. And I actually think that that was more beneficial to the vendors themselves. Like, I remember doing cuties markets way back. Like, beginnings of cuties markets. There was not as nearly, not nearly as many vendors as some of the bigger markets that they, they've done. Um, I don't know exactly how many vendors this one had compared to the other ones. But it felt like, like half the amount. And I actually felt like it was better than some of the other ones and I'm just gonna take a wild guess and maybe say because there's like less uh like it's like when you think about how many customers are coming let's say like a thousand customers came through I'm 
guessing there's probably more than that, but it's hard to, to tell. Um, then there's more, like if there's like 60 vendors, for example, and a thousand customers, there's more, like that amount of money that those customers are spending is spread out across those 60 vendors. Whereas if there's like 30 vendors, it's like those 30 vendors are going to make more because there's less for the customers to choose from. So those vendors will make more money because it's spread across less people, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so I, I feel like that was actually very beneficial. I think with how busy it was, to me, it didn't seem like the busiest market I've been to. But I did better than the markets that were that bu were super busy. And I, I again, I think it's because the like amount of money that all these customers are spending is spread across less vendors. Um, so I think that was pretty good. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit the bell button for to be notified of all my uploads. Um, if you haven't seen my last video, check them out if you're interested. Uh, comment down below, like, what are your best sellers? Or what are some items that don't do as well? I don't know. Let me know. And anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!